Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's Skincare Saturday video, we're taking it back to the hair because uh, the hair situation is still a situation. So when I was at my cheer reunion, however many weekends ago that was, I was talking to one of my cheer friends, Kristen, and she was telling me about her hair. She was experiencing a lot of fallout. She was feeling like she was getting bald patches and she's younger than I am. I think she's like six or seven years younger than I am. And I was like, Oh my gosh, me too. And I said, I've tried these drops that go under the tongue. I've tried custom shampoo. And she said that she has been using this stuff that she found on Amazon. It's a shampoo, a conditioner, and like this treatment that you rub onto your scalp. And she says she can see a difference. Oh, you better text me. So she texted me what it was, and I ordered it. It's right here, and we're testing it out. Now, this is going to be, because I was reading up on it, basically they have a 60-day money-back guarantee where they say that if you don't see results in 60 days, they're gonna give you your money back. So, we're gonna test it for 60 days. Now, knowing that, this is going to be a two-part video. This is part one, we'll do the first 30 days, we'll see where we are. Part two, we'll finish up the 60 days and see if we see any results. All right, let's open it up and see what we have inside. So when I was on the Amazon, I noticed that you can order the shampoo separate from the conditioner, separate from the little scalp treatment, and they also have like a hair mask, but then they have had like a set. So the shampoo, the conditioner, and the oil all in one set, or all of their four products all in one set. Well, since Kristen didn't mention that she used the hair mask and she also didn't send me the link to the hair mask, I just assumed she was only using the shampoo, conditioner, and the little scalp treatment. So that's what I got. So here, oh, I guess I ordered the hair mask too. <laughs> Here it is. I got four things. We have, I don't know, Mori More Ultimate Hair Growth. Now this is the spray that is the scalp treatment. It says it's recommended for all hair types. So that's this. Then I did get the mask. Maybe I was thinking I might as well get it all because it's a situation. So this is the Ultimate Hair Growth Mask. Then we have the Ultimate Hair Growth shampoo and conditioner. Oh, inside we also have a little piece of paper that says new packaging upgraded formula. And they do have their own website. I visited that as well, but I did place my order through Amazon. Because all four on Amazon at the time I purchased it and still right now, they had a limited time deal for all four for $62. It says it's regularly $96. And the three, just the shampoo, conditioner, and the spray was $83. So I was like, why spend $20 more to get one less thing when I could spend 62 and get all four. So that's what I did because you know me, I'm always trying to save money or get more for my money. So on Amazon, just the shampoo is 32. Just the spray by itself is 34. So this shit ain't cheap. So it better work. Maybe it's Moiri, like Mo and then Eerie. I don't know. Moiri, let's call let's call it that. So I'm on their website. It's just moiri.com. I'm so sorry, Moiri. I don't think you're watching this video, but I apologize if I'm saying it incorrectly. It says Moiri is here to help with thin, damaged, slow growing hair. After three years of international product development and breakthroughs in identifying the ideal ingredients, we have crafted unique products that thicken hair, moisturize the scalp, and promote the appearance of healthy hair. 
Now that gets me a little bit. They're just promoting the appearance of healthy hair. It's not actually healthy. It just appears to be healthy. I don't know how I feel about that. Our enriched natural mineral shampoo deep cleanses each individual hair, removing harmful oils and toxins like silicones and parabens found in conventional hair care products. In addition to cleansing, Moiri shampoo also infuses hair with fulvic minerals vitamins, and amino acids. The full hair care solution. The finest ingredients bring you the last hair care routine you will ever need. Mm -hmm. Our products containing gentle, non-harsh, and natural origin ingredients improve the condition of hair and scalp. The result is thicker, more dense looking and resistant hair, along with an overall improved scalp. It also says reduces breakage, boasts a unique blend of biotin, zinc, B-complex vitamins, and fulvic acid. These vital nutrients provide nourishment to both the scalp and hair, fortifying them to minimize hair breakage. Okay, so what do we have to do? If I have to wash my hair every single day for six, that's something I didn't ask, but if I have to wash my hair every day for 60 days, I, I don't know if I could do that. So I'm on their shampoo and it just says, apply shampoo to wet hair and scalp, gently massage, rinse thoroughly with water. Okay, their conditioner says, apply the conditioner to damp hair, avoiding the roots and focusing more on the ends and mid lengths of your hair. Leave the conditioner in for two to three minutes and then rinse with water. And then the spray says, spray it on your hair roots after every wash. And then the hair growth mask says, apply the hair mask on washed, towel dried, slightly damp hair. Avoid applying it to roots of hair. Leave mask on for five to 10 minutes. Okay, I mean, I have questions. That's not very good how to use directions, I don't think. It doesn't say how often I have to do it, nothing like that. On their Amazon page, it does say visible results in 30 days. Okay, well good, because we're gonna test it for 60, and this part one video is gonna cover the first 30 days, so we should see some visible results. You'll see softer, silkier hair in 30 days and lusher, longer locks by three to six months. Oh, it does say each bottle lasts 30 days. Well, if I run out before six, I cannot be washing my hair every day for the next 60 days. It better not happen. This piece of paper is telling me nothing, so hopefully the boxes tell me something because I'm a once a week hair wash kind of gal and I don't think that they mean I'm gonna see results in 30 to 60 days with just washing my hair like four to eight times. So let's get into what the boxes say. Okay, so this is the shampoo and it's 8.45 fluid ounces. There are no directions on the back. It just has the list of ingredients and there are no directions on this side. It's just telling us like it's awesome and all it's infused with and oh no. It says the shampoo formula is also supplemented with ingredients that enhance the effectiveness of the product. Use it daily. Daily? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm, um, uh, okay, this is daily. What does it say? Use it daily. This is the conditioner. It says use it daily. Mm. The spray says, based on the conducted instrumental test, it was found that used for three months regularly, visibly increases hair volume and thickness, replenishes empty hair follicles with new hair, contributes to improved scalp and hair condition as well as appearance of hair. It does not say use it daily. It just says when used regularly for three months. Now the mask, it does not say use it daily. Okay, well, here's what I think. It says each 8.45 fluid ounce bottle lasts 30 days. So if I wanna use it for 60 days, what if I wash my hair every other day? I can't do every day. I mean, every other day is pushing it, you guys. This is gonna be like not awesome, but I will do it in the name of hair growth because my hair fallout is still a disaster and still a shit show. And I have been using 
my custom shampoo, you know, my shampoo sherry and my conditioner sherry. It's the only shampoo I've been using, only conditioner I've been using, only hair dye I've been using, and it has not made a difference. So if I wanna get 60 days out of this, then I'm using it every other day. That's it, that's what I'm doing. But you know what I should actually, you know what? Let me text Kristen and see how often she washes her hair. So while we're waiting, let's get a good, nice look at the hair. When did I wash this? A week ago. So it's due for a wash. I'm using my, you know, my wet dry brush because it has very flexible bristles and doesn't rip out my hair as much as a normal brush would in my opinion. But you'll notice, dun, 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 I started with a clean brush. Look at, look at it all. Look at it. Look at it. So that's like my life. Regular. My regular life. So I just took a picture of my day one hair loss in the sink so we can compare it to all my other days. And while I was doing that, Kristen texted me back and she said she does not wash her hair every day. She said that she, when she does wash her hair every day, she felt that it was kind of drying for her. So she said she usually washes her hair every two to three days. And every time she does wash her hair, she does use the spray. So whether she's washing her hair every other day or every third day, she always uses the spray after she washes it. So good to know. I feel like every other day is going to be a lot and I may do it. Can we do like, I'm thinking. Let's do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Can I skip the weekend? That's a lot of hair washing, but it's every other day-ish. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have to wash my hair on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm gonna be using this mask too. So that's even double the power. I'm gonna wash my hair Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They, I can't, daily, daily. The shampoo and conditioner says use it daily as your hair care routine. No, we're doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the next 60 days. Not 60 Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, but 60 consecutive days, and I'm gonna wash my hair Monday, Wednesday, Friday throughout those 60 days, okay? That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Okay, I'm laughing because Kristen just texted me again, and she said, yeah, definitely don't use it every day. I don't think that's good for your scalp, which is what I've heard as well. And then she went on to say, she also heard from a psychic that she needed more protein in her diet to promote her hair growth. And so in addition to using the shampoo, conditioner, and spray, she also drinks a protein shake. <laughs> I said, okay. I mean, however, I did tell her that I was told by my coworker friend slash coworker mom, Mariana, she told me I needed to eat more like oily foods, like avocados, nuts, things like that. So I don't know. I feel like everybody's has their own theory as far as your diet and hair growth is concerned. I'm not gonna get into the whole diet. I am not a nutritionist. I have no idea. And I also don't wanna research it. I would just rather, you know, use some shampoo, conditioner, some spray and a mask and we'll see what happens. So this is day one of our 60 day test, but this is part one of our 60 day test video. So this video, like I said, is gonna cover the first 30 days. I'm gonna wash shampoo, mask, spray every other day. Well, technically Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I have my robe on, I'm gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna shampoo, so what I think, because the mask said, are there directions anywhere? No, okay, so I pulled this, I mean the packaging's cute. So I pulled this off like this, and then there's a little sticker right here. I'm trying to preserve the cute little sticker and the box. So we open it up, voila, and it says, oh my goodness, look at, look at this, look at this action. Dang! Okay, there's a 30 day hair growth challenge. Oh my gosh. Is this like um, origami? There's so much going on. Ultimate hair growth. You need formula, formula for, for lasting last results. Last result. Oh, the mask says use two to three times a week. So that's perfect. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's three times a week. Apply the hair mask on clean, dry hair and let it absorb for 20 minutes or even more. This is a great weekend morning activity before you shower. Then it also says 
Try sleeping in a hair mask. Apply the mask at the end of your shower or apply it on dry hair and cover it with a shower cap. Rinse out in the morning. Hmm. We could maybe do that. Now here it says 30 day hair challenge. Again, we're doing it for 60. Very cute packaging. But if I'm spending a good portion of my money on this packaging, I could do without it. 3.38 fluid ounces. Let's open it. The scent description said citrus. So, oh. That does not smell like citrus. Here's what it looks like. You know what it smells like? We know this. It does have a little citrusiness to it, but I'm getting a very strong hint of mint. You know, like a scrub? It smells like a, a scrub. No, no. I know exactly what it smells like. It smells like a foot scrub. And you know when, okay, I know we can't smell this because it was in a movie, but you know in um, Mean Girls, when they're trying to take down Regina George, she was getting a zit and what's her face was like, oh, I have this really good skin stuff I'll bring you. Okay. And so they put a bunch of foot cream into a container and then told her it was zit stuff. And then her boyfriend was like, ooh, you smell minty. And then when nothing was working and then they were reconvening and they're like, it's been a month and all we've done is make Regina's face smell like a foot. That's what this smells like. Yep, it smells exactly like that. Okay, so here's the spray. Same type of deal. Are all the boxes origami boxes? Okay, yeah, I think so. All right, so here's our spray. Now the containers are plastic. 150 milliliters of spray. Unique formula for endless results. It has a day one, this is what your hair looks like, gross and split. Day 15, this is what it looks like. We've got hair coming in where there wasn't hair coming in before, and the gross and split hair looks all nice. And then day 30, we've got this, and this is the number of single follicles increased by 17.3% after 12 weeks of daily usage. Okay. Spray it on your hair roots after every wash and before going to bed. Pro tip, massage your scalp after spraying. Cool, we'll do that. Should we spray it? I don't wanna waste the spray, but let's open it this way. Let's smell it. Same foot, same foot smell. Minty, citrusy, foot rub smell. Shampoo, slide it out. We know the drill. Origami box, all right. Shampoo, here it is. 8.45 fluid ounces, okay? We open this. Pro tip, the shampoo is exclusively for the scalp. It should be massaged into the scalp for 30 seconds or more, okay? It does say can be used daily. It doesn't say must be used daily. Now, the conditioner, Voomp. It says, hello, it's nice to meet you, beauty. Aww. Cute. Are you ready to meet your transformed hair in 30 days? Why, yes, yes I am. Here we have it, same size as the shampoo. Pro tip, don't apply conditioner to sopping wet hair because the product slides off and can't penetrate or coat the fibers. Okay, sweet. Let's smell this shampoo and conditioner and see if we have the same minty foot smell. Yep, yep. It all smells the same. The shampoo top, it's one of these guys. Pop it, and same with the conditioner. Boom. And then this, I'm sure smells just like a foot. Why yes, yes it does. And by foot, I don't mean bad. It's just got that minty, exfoliating, that smell. It just has that smell. It's a nice smell, I don't mind it. It's a clean smell, but you know, we made her face smell like a foot. So we made our hair smell like a foot. I gotta get in the shower, there's a lot of damn steps. So I'm going to shampoo first, then put on the mask and wait 10 minutes, and then rinse the mask, and then put on the conditioner, then get out of the shower and do the spray. So after I shampoo and I'm ready to do the mask, I'll come back in here because you guys know you're not coming into the shower with me. Okay. Hair is washed. I will say I used, I don't know, like I wanna say like a quarter size amount, but it kind of spread into like maybe a 50 cent piece amount and it does not get really lathery. Like I was very tempted to squirt more on, but I didn't. And I just focused on my roots and I really massaged it all over my scalp. When I first started, I had a little bit of lather on my hands, but as I kept massaging, 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 I didn't time myself, but if I had to guess, I was trying to do it for three minutes, but I feel like maybe I only did it for two, because after a while, there were no suds 
at all. So it does not get lathery like what you may be used to with the shampoo you're using now. But I washed it and I rinsed it and I put it in here to towel dry it. And now we're gonna put the mask on. So this is my hair. Yay! I mean, it's hard to say if my hair smells because I didn't scrub like down in here. I just kind of left my hair like this and was going like this throughout my whole hair. Now we do the mask. The thing I don't like is it doesn't say like how much to use. How much? I don't know. So I'm gonna scrape off what's on the protective seal. I gotta make this last for like 60 days. We're not applying it to here. We're just applying it to the mids and ends. So I guess how much? Rubbing it in. I mean, I like the smell. It smells like a foot, whatever. I'm not going on my scalp. I'm just doing mids and ends. I think that's good. I feel like it's on here. Oh gosh, look at hair. Ugh. And now I wait for five to 10 minutes. So now would be a good time to like, I don't know, wash your face, maybe brush your teeth if you're getting ready to go to bed. And oh, there's so much hair on my hands. Uh, and we'll wait five to 10 minutes. Okay, so I actually left the hair mask on for like 14 minutes because I was watching a YouTube video and lost track of time. I got back into the shower after 14 minutes. I rinsed the mask out and then I conditioned my hair. And it did say like, don't put the conditioner on like super soaking wet hair, but I wasn't about to get out of the shower again. So I just like wrung out as much of the water as I could. And then I applied the conditioner just to my mids and ends, nothing on my roots. I kept that on for like, I don't know, two to three minutes. That's what they said to do. But as long as it took me to like wash my body, that's how long I left the conditioner on. Then I rinsed the conditioner out and that's where we are now. So now we have to do our hair growth spray. We just spray it and rub it into our scalp, right? And then we just leave it. Yeah. Spray it on your hair roots after every wash and before going to bed. Spray and massage. That is what we are doing. So when I was in the shower for the second time, I was like, oh shoot, you know what I should have done? Like straightened my hair and taken a before picture of my hair straight. So I'll do that tomorrow. I don't think, you know, an ass ton of hair is gonna grow on my head after one application of all these products. So tomorrow when I get up and get ready for work, I'll straighten my hair and I will take a before picture. So we'll have before hair shedding ball in the sink and before just normal straight hair, that will be that. I wanted to spray this on, massage it in, and then air dry my hair, but I also don't wanna to go to bed with a wet head of hair, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be awake. That's neither here nor there. Whether I air dry it or blow dry it, it I don't think it's gonna affect anything. So let's just get to spraying. So here we have our little spray. It doesn't say how many sprays, so I don't know. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. I don't know. One, two, three. That was three on the back. And you know, like, I could go crazy with this. I wish they said like, use 10 sprays, but they don't. So I don't know, what did I use? 10, 11, 12 sprays? Let's try to keep it to 10 sprays. So I'm massaging this in, and there you have it. That's it, that's our routine. Now I feel like my hair is all tingly, but you know, whatever. Small price to pay for, re I feel like I didn't even get any, uh, Maybe it's just like two sprays per section, massage it in. Because I feel like I didn't really get anything. I said two and then I sprayed three. Yeah, I think it's best to do a couple sprays over here, massage, do a couple sprays over here, do a couple three, four, five sprays like on the top, massage, and then get the back and massage. That's what I think and that's what I'm gonna do. Day one of our 60 day test, done. <sighs> Wish me luck you guys, I'll check back in soon. Okay, so we are officially on night 13 of our Moiri, More, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what I'm talking about. And I will tell you what, I've never washed my hair so much in my entire life life. This is night 13 and I'm getting ready to go wash my hair now and I've already washed my hair like five times. I know. At this stage of my life on a day 13, we'd be lucky if I washed my hair twice. So yeah, to wash my hair like I'm going on the sixth time right now in 13 days, pain in my ass. 
Well, I'm sure you can already guess why because of the description I gave you of every step that I had to do at the beginning of this video. So not only am I washing my hair more often, every other day to be exact, minus the weekend. Originally I had said I'm gonna wash it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, I changed my mind on that because I just don't wanna wash my hair on Friday night. So I wash it Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So those are my days. I'm gonna wash my hair tonight because you have to wash your hair and then on damp hair, put the mask on and leave the mask on for 10 minutes and then rinse it out and then put the conditioner in and then come out and do the spray. For the first couple of times, I was getting in the shower, washing my hair, then getting out of the shower, drying my whole body off, towel drying my hair, then putting on the mask and then waiting 10 minutes and then getting back into the shower to rinse and finish everything up. Well, I stopped doing that. So now what I've been doing, I've been washing my hair in the sink so I don't have to get all naked and get my whole body all wet, then towel drying it, and then putting the mask on for 10 minutes. Then I get in the shower, do the conditioner. When the conditioner is on, you only have to leave the conditioner on for like two, three minutes. So then I just wash my body, shave my body, you know, clean my pits, whatever. Then get out, towel dry that, then do the spray, then massage the spray in. I try to do it for like three minutes. So that is a huge pain in my ass. However, let me tell you something. So, I know you guys know this because of my previous hair videos, but normally I run my fingers through my hair. I only got, I got one hair. I got one hair. Look, normally when I do this, I got one hair. I just got one. Normally when I do this, I get handfuls of hair. There's none in this hand. There's one, there's two, and I thought that was three, but no. Look it, it's only day 13. Okay, I got one, I got two, but that's a far cry from when I could do this. My hand would be covered in hair. And I will also tell you that my hair, I did not brush it this morning. Obviously you can see I just went to bed. It's kind of all gross. My hair feels way, way softer and way more healthy. Oh, I got a little bit more hair there. But normally it's handfuls, handfuls of hair to where it's so much hair that I could ball it up and it's like the size of, I don't wanna say golf ball because that would be exaggerating, but the size of a marble and a tight marble, like literally a ball I could throw to Carl and Joe and they could play with it. That's how much hair I normally get when I just run my fingers through it. And now, Nothing, nothing. That is amazing. That's amazing for me. I'm very, very, very excited about that. Okay, well, okay, there's a caveat. I'm gonna put a little asterisk because I have a couple theories. In wondering, is this actually working in such a short amount of time? I was starting to think it can't possibly be. It cannot possibly be working after 13 days and five hair washes, five or six hair washes, whatever it is. Okay. Maybe it's because I'm not losing so much hair because I'm washing my hair way more. And so I'm shedding in the shower way more. I'm blow drying my hair way more. So I'm shedding more with each blow dry. So when my hair is actually dry and I do run my fingers through it, maybe because I'm messing with my hair so much more than I normally do, maybe there's not a lot of hair to shed because I've already shed it in the shower, in the blow dryer when I straighten it. You know what I mean? So it could be that. That's that's my theory because you know me. I am a glass half empty kind of a gal. And for me to actually think that this is working within 13 days, I. I can't, I just can't, I can't believe that. I wanna believe it, but my theory, that makes more sense to me than this is actually working in 13 days. Then it makes me wonder, you know, it has nothing to do with the shampoo, the spray, the what have you. Maybe if you just washed your hair more than once a week, you wouldn't have as much hair loss. But the reason why I was washing my hair once a week is because I was getting so much hair loss, I thought that washing it less would make me have less hair fall out. But I wonder if that was wrong. I don't know, do you, any hairdressers out there? Could you maybe shed a little light on my theory? Is this actually working? I mean, we have 60 whole days and we're only on day 13. So we have quite a few more days to discover, but I'm just, 
hypothesizing, if you will. I mean, I want to get excited. I definitely can tell my hair feels definitely softer. It is a plus to like run my fingers through my hair and not get any hairs. Now I've just brushed my hair and I definitely have hair in my brush. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, not as much, but there's still hair there. There's definitely still hair there. I'll put it in the sink and take a picture of it so you can see day 13 hair loss. But yeah, I gotta go wash my hair now because it takes like forever. But I'm telling you, oh, here's what we haven't looked at and my bad because I should have done this on day one. But what I wanted to do, again, I need to tie my hair my hair dye isn't here yet so I'm getting some rootage happening so ignore the gray roots but you know how we look at the center part we need to start looking at this more to see if it's as like Grand Canyon wide or am I getting new growth in there because here are some babies but I don't think this is like 13 days worth of hair growth these babies had to have been coming in before like these are kind of long I mean I don't know the rate of I don't know how fast hair grows is this 13 day hair growth or is this like 22 day hair growth and it absolutely has nothing to do with the spray that I'm spraying on my head I don't know but these are things we have to monitor also too are they actually babies? Is it new growth baby? Or is it just my hair's broken off there and they appear to be baby? I don't know, but we're gonna really start monitoring like parts in my hair to see how Grand Canyon-y they are and if they're less Grand Canyon-y. Like when I do this, like to me, is that a bald spot? Is that bald? Are we looking at a bald spot? I don't know, but guess what? We're gonna keep our eye on that puppy right there and see if we get any hair in there. This side, not so much, but that side, for sure. I mean, look at that. That's like Scalp City Disco. But then it's like, look, look at these little guys. I, I don't know what to make of it. It's only day 13. I'm gonna go wash my hair. That's that. I should have timed myself, it takes forever. Anyways, I just wrap my hair and then it's kind of air dried. I take my wet dry brush and then I go in with that spray. Now the spray, I've been using willy nilly. I think I've been using too much, but also then maybe not enough. It's so hard to gauge. I just spray. So right now the liquid is here. It has to make it 60 days. So maybe I should start using a little less. I don't know. Ideally, day 30, we'd be at the halfway point. So I guess I'm just gonna monitor it that way. But I have been going in. Be just because it doesn't say two sprays, five sprays, eight sprays, 22 sprays. So I'm just spraying like a crazy person. Now, as far as the mask is concerned, I don't. it's not gonna last us. 60 days, it's, it's not. I haven't been using gobs and gobs, but I have been dipping the back of my finger in and this is how much we have left. Once this runs out, it just runs out. No more mask, that's it. Too bad, so sad, no more mask. You know what I probably could do? Use this like every other time I wash my hair. Right now, I've used it every single time I wash my hair, but maybe I use it every other time or maybe just once a week to make this last a little bit longer, which I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I at least want 30 days of this. So since I wash Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, maybe I do mask on Sundays and Thursdays or maybe just Sunday. I, I'll decide and I'll let you know what I decide. And then that way at least I could like have a normal shower and stop washing my hair in the sink every other day. That would be nice. Very nice. But as far as the spray is concerned, now that my hair is brushed and kind of just towel dried, I really just shake it up and like try to go in my parts and massage, massage, massage. A couple, three sprays in like every section, but then I'm trying to get like all the sections, even like back here. So I don't know how many sprays I'm using. I know I'm using quite a bit of spray. I'm just not monitoring how much spray. Kind of go a little crazy on my center part because that's how I part my hair. Once I feel like I've sprayed enough, then I just take both hands and I just keep like massaging my scalp for about, I don't know, I don't put a timer on, but in my head, I feel like I do it for like two or three minutes and I'll just keep like massaging, massaging, massaging. Depending on the time of night, I'll let my hair air dry or I'll just blow dry it and then go to bed. So yeah, it's day 13, we got a while to go. Okay, guys, this is not an official check-in, but I just colored my hair with my, you know, the subscription Sherry hair dye. I just colored it 
and I washed it in our shampoo, conditioner, and I did this spray. So I was blow drying it and I was straightening it. And as I was straightening, I was like, damn, my hair kind of looks good right now. I don't know. Let's not get our hopes up. But I don't know as far as like growth is concerned, although when I was straightening my hair, I had some shorty guys that were like poking out straight out like this. And I was like, oh my God, is that new growth? I don't know, I don't know. But what I'm saying is at the very least, I mean, do you see, do you see what I'm working with? Hold on, there's nothing in my hair. I didn't put any like oil or anything. I literally just colored it, rinsed it, shampooed it with our special shampoo, conditioned it. I didn't even do the mask because I decided I'm only doing the mask once a week now and that's on Sunday and today is not Sunday, today is Tuesday. I just washed it, conditioned it, put the spray in, massaged the spray, blue dry it and straightened it. And I mean, I don't know, but I think, I mean, what do you think? Look at it, ooh, oh, does it look good? You think it looks good? I don't know. I'm thinking it kind of looks good. I cannot speak to hair growth, but as far as like, does my hair look healthy and shiny and just ooh, luxurious? Like, you know how they do in those commercials? Like, ooh, look at the shine. I think my hair kind of looks like that, right? Feels like it's more healthy. I mean, hmm. This is the first time I've noticed it. So I can't even tell you how many shampoos I'm on right now. Um, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> I didn't even go look at my calendar because I was just so excited. After I straightened my hair, I wanted to run in here and show you. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, it is official. We have completed the first 30 days of our Moray, what are we calling it, Moiri? Hair care test. Now, since we're at day 30, let me just tell you, over the course of the last four weeks, uh, yeah, I've washed my hair 12 times, 12 times. Normally, at this juncture, I would have washed my hair four times, four, maybe five, if I got real dirty one time, but yeah, 12 times. And let me just tell you, it's been a pain in my ass. However, I do think it's kind of working. I mean, at least I feel like my hair is much softer. You saw, I think it's silkier, but the true test will be right now, my hair is a disaster area. I'm supposed to wash it tonight. So let's brush it. Now I woke up this morning and I just threw it in a ponytail and I've been trying to decorate the house for Christmas. Now I'm getting ready to wash my hair to start day 31, which would be part two of this test. I just took out this ponytail holder and there are no hairs on it. First off, I wanna run my fingers through. I got a couple of hairs. Let's put them in the sink. That's our hair catcher. And what I do have to say, wow, I think my hairbrush still has a lot of hair in it after I brush my hair. There's a couple more right there. And I think like my shower still has plenty of hair in it. What I have been noticing, my pillowcase has had very minimal amounts of hair. Like in the past, it looked like I had just taken a wig and like made it shed all over my pillowcase every morning I woke up. And now, I mean, very few. To be quite honest, I actually didn't notice because there was like no hair that I could see. Normally when I wash my sheets, a hair fiasco. And now, not so much. So it would seem that the fallout is getting better. Now, Let's brush it and then we'll take a picture. Now, I don't know, gosh, my hair is so soft. It's really soft, sorry. I don't know if there's just less hair fallout because I'm washing it so much, I'm brushing it so much, I'm blow drying it so much, and maybe I'm just shedding more hair than I'm used to because when you only wash it once a week, you get a lot of hair fallout in that one wash per week. So here's my brush. I feel like my hair is nice and smooth. We have this much hair. Oh, and some lint. Don't worry about that. I mean, it looks like kind of a lot of hair still. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. 
As far as like the hair shedding, again, I really don't know if I noticed that huge of a difference other than what I have not been seeing on my pillowcase. Now I just swiped the brush a couple more times and I only got a couple of hairs there. So yeah, I don't know guys, I don't know. But let's take a picture of what is in the sink at day 30 so we can compare it to the other days. Okay. So now that we've compared the, I guess, hair loss that I've been saving in the sink, let's look and see, like, yeah, there are new baby hairs here, but is that because of this Moray treatment that I've been giving myself, or would those have been there anyways? I don't know. How about my center part? Do we notice it, like, less gappy, or does it still look the same, the same amount of Grand Canyon as it did before? It's not like I noticed, but again, it's going to be hard to tell like if there are baby hairs in my part or not. Hmm. I don't know if I'm noticing like any new growth like within the parts of my hair. I mean, I do kind of notice a lot like right in here. Would you consider this new hair growth? A little bit, right? Huh. I don't know. What do you guys think? Just so that you know how much product I've been going through while we, you know, consider what's happening on my head. The shampoo and the conditioner I have almost equalness of maybe about to here. So in 30 days, 12 washes, that's how much I've used of these. Now, as far as the hair mask is concerned, I was using it like every single night for like the first two weeks or so. And then I was like, oh, you're getting kind of low and you got to eke out a whole 60 days. So then I started just using a hair mask on Sunday night washes only. And I have this much left. That should be totally enough to last me one time per week every Sunday. Now, I have been leaving this on my hair for the max. It says five to 10 minutes, but I've been leaving it on for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and then rinsing it out and then using the conditioner. And then as far as the ultimate hair growth spray, I was using this a little bit crazy initially because I was like, psh, 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 spraying it all over and then rubbing it into my scalp. But then I started keeping track of how much I have left. So I think I've been doing a good job. To me, it looks like I have halfway and we're at the halfway point. So I should have enough of this to last me the next 30 days. So yeah, that's where we are after 30 days and I have 30 more days to go. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you think this is working, if you think that Yay! yes, this is new hair growth that wouldn't have been there had I not been using this, let me know because I'm not certain. I don't even know what to think anymore. So yeah, part one done. First 30 days down. Part two and the final 30 days coming soon. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the Skincare Saturday videos I push out, which is every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.